Did you know we can optimize this function to complete almost twice as fast? We're currently awaiting a fetch for a user and then a fetch for a product sequentially, but one doesn't depend on the other. So we can instead change this to use promise.all to allow us to await those two requests concurrent. So if say each request took a half a second, we just took our function down to take in one second to complete, down to half a second. But there's a problem with this. We're not handling errors for either of these two requests. You could say, sure, I'll put a big old try catch block here, but there's still a major issue. Let's say fetch user completes first with an error. That will trigger our catch block and then continue on with the function. If products then errors, that will not trigger this catch block and that will throw an unhandled promise rejection. So if we have some kind of handling logic that prompts the user or saves to an error log, this will get triggered for one of the errors and the other error will just disappear with no information going to the user or to our logging. We can solve this by using promise.all settled and remove this try catch block because now we get result objects back, which will tell us if the promise was fulfilled or rejected. If rejected, we can get the error from the reason property and handle it. And we can do that for both independently. And then if no error happened, we know we got the user as the value property. Now, we don't really need this much boilerplate every time. We can easily write our own handle function to encapsulate that logic, to process the results, handle any errors, and if successful, return us our user and product objects. But keep in mind two things. We don't want to wait on too many requests in parallel. This can cause network thrashing. And also sometimes sequential code is just simpler to write and manage. So whether you prefer this or this, make sure you're running async tasks properly and handle your errors. You can learn more about promise concurrency in JavaScript, including a couple other pretty neat tricks in my latest blog post on the builder.io blog.